Hello students, uh, in my last video I have solved the sum related to the constant head test of an open well. So in this video I will be solving the, I have already solved actually, uh, the sum which is related to the recuperation test of an open well. So here it goes. The question is, our question is calculate the specific capacity of an open well from the following data. Initial depression head is 5 meter, that is H1. Final depression head H2 is 2 meter. Time of recuperation is 2 hours. Diameter of well is 3 meter. We are also asked to find out what the specific yield and the yield of well under the head 3 meter. So here basically in this question we are asked to find out three things. Specific capacity which is denoted by capital K. Okay, specific yield is denoted by K by A and yield is denoted by Q. Yield means product, discharge, right, under the head 3 meter. Okay, so that was the question. So, uh, the, here we will now first we will write the given data. So, initial depression head, I already told you, it is denoted by H1, that is 5 meter, written. Then final depression head, H2, 2 meter. Time of recuperation 2 hours already given. Diameter of well is 3 meter. D is 3 meter. Now we, are, we have found out uh, area which is pi by 4 d square. Why this formula is uh, used? Since this is a circular well. Well is always circular, right? That's why we are using the formula of a circle area. Area formula of a circle. So pi by 4 d square d is what 3 meter we have got this value just calculate yourself and, uh, and just check the answer again okay it's 7.07 meter square. Now from the recuperation test we get an equation so I have given this equation in the notes okay in the lecture notes just, just kindly refer my notes. So here k is, k is what I told you specific capacity. From the uh, from the entire recuperation test, we finally get this equation. Okay, k is equal to 2.303 into a divided by t log of 10 h1 by h2. So k, what did I say? It is the specific capacity of an open well. A is the cross-sectional area. T is the time of recuperation. Log of 10 is uh, you all know what is the value of log of 10. Then H1 is what? Uh, uh, H1 is the initial depression head 5 meter and H2 is the final depression head 2 meter. Now we will, since we asked to find out the specific capacity, we can directly put in this equation and find the value of K, right? Because K is the specific capacity. Okay, so now let us put the values of all the values in this equation. 2.303 already given. A is how much we got from here? 7.07 .07, that is put divided by t time of recuperation 2 hours okay then log of 10 5 by 2 why 5 h1 is 5 h2 is 2 clear now solving this entire equation we get this value that is 3.24 meter cube per hour per meter per unit head okay so our first thing has been solved specific capacity is equal to how much 3.24 meter cube per hour per unit head that is solved now we are asked to find out the specific yield. I told you specific yield is nothing but what? K by A. Okay. So K by A is what? Directly we can put the value K by A. K is how much? 3.24. Area is how much? 7.07. .07. Right. So after putting this equation, uh, after putting the values in this two K and A, we get 0.458 meter cube per hour per meter square please guys do not forget to mention the units okay these are very important okay then these two are been found out specific capacity and specific yield now we are asked to find out the yield of the well under head of 3 meter we have to find that q under a head of 3 meter so we all know this equation from Darcy's law q is equal to k into h okay so a is so here h is what this head 3 meter we are asked to find out the yield under this head 3 meter so that's why here the value of h will be 3 and k we have already find out what is the specific capacity 3.24 k value 3.24 into 3 that is 7 9.72 meter cube per hour after 
after multiplying k and h we get this value so this uh, can be also written if we convert it into liters per hour it is 9720 liter per hour okay so that is the uh, question of uh, specific capacity how to find out the specific capacity specific yield and yield of the well uh, uh, which is this entire sum is based on the recuperation test of an open well so i guess uh, the sum is clear to you all hope it is clear to you all uh, and thank you for watching this video and please if, if you have any doubt related to this sum please do contact me okay thank you so much